Now, September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, and we here at ABC Action News know it has been just such a difficult year for so many across the Bay Area. And right here in our viewing area, there are resources for those who feel like there's just no point of going on. All right, in-depth reporter Stasi Almo spoke with the staff at some of those organizations who say they're getting more suicide calls now than ever before, and they highlight the importance of getting help. A global pandemic, COVID-19 claiming 4.5 million lives across the world. 18 months in, hospitals still bearing the weight. Social unrest, inequality, riots and police reform to a tragic end to America's longest war. To say in the least, it's been a very difficult year. Now, more so than ever, more and more of our family members, our neighbors, our friends are recognizing that this is tough and it's not going away. August 12th, 2021, the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay received the most suicide calls they've ever had. 31 people in Hillsborough County called wanting to end their lives. That's double their busiest days and triple their slowest days. That is the most we have ever had. Uh, so we recognize that there is just a lot of concern, a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of anger. It's not just COVID. It is hurricane season. It is what's happening politically. It is what's happening economically. In Pinellas County, suicide hotline calls are routed to 211 Tampa Bay Cares. This year we've answered uh, 1,595 lifeline calls from people who are either suicidal and thinking about it or may who already be in progress um, of trying to take their own lives or those family members and those survivors who now need maybe counseling or some resources to try to get through the loss of the loved one. 211 Tampa Bay Cares says their calls are slightly up, but their community partners are seeing more clients experiencing suicidal thoughts than ever before, which means the majority of people aren't calling. According to Hillsborough's National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI, it's the younger generations that are actually following through on those thoughts. Right now, suicide is the second leading cause of death for people ages 10 to 34. That means our middle school, high school, college students, young adults, the second leading cause of death is suicide, and that's second only to accidental deaths. From COVID-19. People who've lost one person, more than one person, what about our first responders? How many t how many nurses and doctors have held up iPads and held hands while family members said goodbye through a screen? To Afghanistan. There are people dealing with post-traumatic stress, people who are amputees, people who lost their marriages, their families because of that war. To see it come to the end that it did, it's like, what did I go through all of that for? Professionals say we all need to start talking. Mental health is health. Unfortunately, I would dare to say that the next pandemic to hit American shores will be mental health in nature. It is okay to not be okay. What's not okay is not reaching out for help when you need it. There are several avenues for support, whether you call the crisis line 211 or join a support group through NAMI. You may be surprised to find you are not alone. Reporting in Tampa Bay, I'm Stassi Olmos, ABC Action News. Thank you, Stassi. And resources like the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay can also help if you know someone who's struggling. Their staff will coach you through what to say that maybe will encourage that person to get help. On your screen right now is a phone number to the National Suicide Prevention Line. The number 800-273-TALK or 8255 will, write, will route you to your county's closest resource center like the Crisis Center if you're in Tampa. We also have links to the National Alliance on Mental Illness and other resources posted on our website at abcactionnews.com. Just click on this article.